Today I'm wearing orange. Orange. Orange, not orange. Orange. Orange, like duck a la orange. Duck a la orange. A la orange duck. A la orange duck. So welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin and I am going to be doing something interesting today um, because I'm going to be using a little bit of plasticine gel which I absolutely love, I mean where's it been all my life? It's like, I think it's a great invention because it's so easy to use so we're going to do something a little bit different with it and yeah, I'm going to show you how we make like, it's like kind of like flowers but there's chrome involved, yeah. I'm using the hand dolly hand today. We've got a few hands. We've got the Aliana hand, which I do absolutely love. This one, you can't really see it because it has got my tattoo on. So we just thought we'd um, we'd use her for a change today. I mean, she's a bit rounder than me. I wish I was this brown, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, we need more sunshine. To be fair, it's don't very you? sunny out there right now. It is, but we're stuck in this box. Damien just said to us, "You should you should film outside." And I was like, all right, mm. okay, what with you digging the garden up? <laughs> yeah, and everything would cure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is that. There is that, yeah. So I've got some tips on here. Um, I am going to buff the tip just so it's not a shiny surface. You don't really want a shiny surface. So if we're doing it, if we were doing this on like a natural nail or on an acrylic extension or gel extension, it would be buffed before. So yeah, there's two different buffers here. These are the ones that we use on the metal centre board, yeah? And we can put different grits on there, so we can put different uh, files on there and the buffer on there. So this is a 120 grit buffer, and then we've also got the sponge buffers. So the sponge buffer is a bit softy. Personal preference, this is firmer. If we look at that, like nice and firm. Whereas the sponge buffer is softer because it is more flexible. Let me show you this. So flexible. See, this is more like me, old age. Not, <laughs> not very flexible. But this one is like me when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> Total perfect, perfect personal preference um but i'm gonna buff the nail i'm just gonna curl her, her fingers out the way a little bit and we're gonna buff so you're not changing the shape or anything you're just removing the shine and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hopefully do a few of these. So I'm gonna just buff three and then we'll see how quickly we do this. If we don't do it quick enough, I'll get moaned at. Adam's like, we're not doing a two hour video, thanks. <laughs> you make me out to be some kind of slave driver. You just keep me um, in tow, don't you? You just, you know, you make sure I'm behaving. Wait until you see the cattle prod that I've uh, ordered. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Flying through videos. I feel like, yeah, Kirsty be all of a sudden become super quick at doing nails. <laughs> so that prod in her back. So we're going to use base coat. We're going to use um, background colours. We're going to use from our spring collection. Just because I, I love them. A lot. And we're in spring. Finally, winter is over. I just need to wipe over these tips with a little bit of cleanup solution. And I'm also going to put some cleanup solution in a little dampen dish or a dappen dish, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to wipe these over. So we're going to base coat. I'm going to cure those for 30 seconds. So this is on one now, we're going to use Paddy. So it's like a gorgeous, I want to say, 
some people are saying what is it tiffany color i don't think it's tiffany color it's definitely more on the green side so we'll do two coats of that and we're going to use damien which is our biggest seller from our spring collection everybody absolutely loves this And we're going to use Sandra. And Sandra's a gorgeous Barbie pink. 30 second cure. Cure that. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the matte top coat. And I'm using matte because I want like a contrast. Oh, I just love how matte they are. Look at them. I love a matte nail, I'm sorry. I just do, I get excited. And we're gonna be using the Plasticine Gel from Mystique Nails. And we're gonna use them in sort of corresponding colors. They're not exactly the same color, but I just feel like using the same tone will look really beautiful. So we've got this one is, mm, mm, names, names, names. Oh, it's on the lid. Oh God, how good's that? It's on the lid, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you're so not so, used to it. Yeah, I'm not used to that. So you got 13 turquoise, light purple, and pink. Mystique nails. You need to come up with some better names. They're very good descriptions because it's the Yeah, color. but they're not exciting. Yeah, names, it's not exciting. They? No. <laughs> right, so I'm going to wait with this one first of all. I'm going to use a Miko gel brush, which is our gel brush, and it has like a rounded tip to it. And this is where you'll need your cleanup solution and we're also going to use um some light little tweezers and we'll be using a spatula it's all going on and i love this stuff because you can roll it in between your fingers make sure you clean your hands after <coughs> doing this so i'm gonna roll it out So a little bit of the cleanup solution on that tool. Then we can press and it won't stick. I'm just kind of dispersing this. Then you can take your tweezers, again dip them in to a little bit of solution and pull in. And create your basic shapes. You need to get out of the way. I might actually just take those off for a sec. Just so they're out of the way. So if you haven't got the tweezers, you can always use a spatula like this. So these are just basic shapes, yeah? And it kind of plans out what you're doing, okay? Now we're going to use the Miko gel brush. That needs to go into your cleanup solution. And then we're going to press into these and kind of pull them out. Now, if the product starts to stick to your brush, you'll need to rehydrate with a little bit of the cleanup solution. I'm going to take some out the middle so I have like an empty section in the middle. And we're aiming for like a little bit of a, like a daisy kind of shape. Then if you lose any definition, you can always use your tool to start to bring that together. Now you can do this as simple or as complicated as you want to. And again, I'm just going to take out a little bit from the center. And then go in with my brush and just sort of open that out a little bit. And 
and I'm not worrying about that center at this point. Then we're going to cure. Now I can use our flash torch, little portable LED lamp to cure that. Now I know it looks kind of cool like that, but what we need to do is we're going to use the top coat and we're going to use this little gel brush, our little Miko gel. And I'm just going to coat the flower with the top coat. But you don't want to go like really heavy because you will lose definition and you don't need to cover every last bit because we want some of the colour to kind of shine through a little bit. So this chrome is from Lucente that I'm going to use and it's called Green Chameleon. I just wanted to sing by George there. Come, 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 Now we can use the little um, makeup sponges to rub the chrome on. See, and it looks really brown in the pot, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But when you rub it on, it actually gives like this green kind of hue to it. When we catch the light and it has like, it does have a slight bronze to it, but. and we're going to take off any excess. Now, now if the background was shiny, like gloss top coat, then the chrome would stick to the gloss top coat and that would make me very sad. Right, what we're going to do now is we want to seal this and we're also going to put this stone in the middle, which I absolutely love. Where is my pot picker rubber? Because I just want to go for size. Let me just look. Oh, look at that. Pretty. But before we put that in, you know, I'm excited about that. You know, I get excited about a bit of bling. We're just gonna seal this with the top coat. So I wanted to show you like a simple way to do quite a quick flower. Can you see that that's not actually taking long at all? And like I said, you can, you can go into real detail with it if you want to and really take your time. We have done some flowers out of this before, haven't we, on previous videos? Well, right, you have. Well, yeah. Royal Wee <laughs> in more detail. But you need to seal it as the chrome will just, it'll wear. So as much as your client might think, oh, we're done, you're not done. We're gonna use the Totalis <laughs> um, to put our, our big whopping stone on. So this is from Nail Kami. Um It's amazing for adhering stones. I love it. So we're just gonna whack that there. And we're gonna pick up our big stone and put him in the middle like so and then we're going to cure and there we are that's that all nice and secure look at that one down didn't take long but what i want to show you to sort of demonstrate to you is there are different ways you can use this technique and it's quite fun it's a little bit different let me just wipe over this just in case i've got anything on it so we're going to use this one now the light purple I'm going to roll that, make it nice and long, like a long sausage. Let's pick him up. He is delicate. And I'm going to create, I'm going to use, sorry, light pressure to put him on. And he will stick. I don't know why I'm calling him a he. I was just about to ask. I don't name. know why he's got a he as a name. <laughs> is it because it's like a snake? It is a little bit like a snake, but I want to do quite a free sort of free flowing abstract kind of um, design. Now this, in my opinion, is like very Japanese. Um, a lot of the Japanese artists do nails very similar to this kind of thing. They use this technique quite a lot. I do feel like that bit's too fat. Mm, I was thinking the same. So I'm going to take him off. Him. <laughs> He's totally a him. The warmer this gets, the more sort of malleable, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. The more malleable it is. So let's connect it here. Put it on there. I don't want you there. <laughs> oh my god, no! Come back! I want it. I know it's a free flowing, but I want to still be in control, mate. Can you adjust, you know what I mean? That's better. Draw that bit off. That's better. 
So you can just easily join it back together then? Yeah. Well, that's cool. And a bit of light pressure, just so, I want light pressure so we don't ruin the shape of it. I want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Love that. I absolutely love that. I know it's dead simple, but I, I love stuff like that. I think it's just really different. Let's cure that. And then we're going to get a bit of top coat again. I mean, it looks really cool, like that, to be honest. It's, it looks very uh, London Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. that, that's the kind of stuff that you see London Fashion Week. You know, it's high-end fashion. Fashion, darling, fashion. Oh, I've touched the mat. Let me clean my brush. Can you see here? Mm -hmm. so I've cleaned my brush in the cleanup solution and you can just slide that out the way and say, okay, bye. Now I do like it just like that, to be honest. Right, okay, but we're not gonna just leave it like that, are we? <laughs> gonna cure that. And then we're going to use the Chameleon Purple. Mmm. Pick a little bit of that up. This is also from Lacente. All the chromes I'm using today will be from Lacente. Discount code below. Give that a rub. Oh my god, this completely changes it. I love it. It's got a blue hue to it as well. Let's dust off the excess. <gasps> That's so cool. Mm, it is very cool. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Does it need crystals? No. <laughs> Does it need a bit of bling though? We also need to seal. If you wanted it all shiny, you could top coat the entire thing. I oh, know, I like the contrast. I do. There's something that I love about matte and shiny next to each other. I just, oh does it for me. So let's, oh, oh, my hands come loose. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no, my hands come loose off the table. I'm just gonna seal that with our glossy top coat. And cure. I'm gonna use these crystals. Because they're <laughs> transparent, they will take on the color from the nail underneath. These are from Nailchemy. They are called Crystals Clear AB. Yeah, and I feel like it needs to go like that. To go with the, the flow. Gonna use a few different sizes as well. So you see how it take, they take on the colour of the mm -hmm. whatever it is that you put on top of it. I think that's quite cool. Cure that. Yeah, see now I think that's perfect. You could even put a few there to be honest. You could fill all of the spaces in with glue. I did plate. think about <laughs> filling that entire <laughs> space with stones. I thought, oof, that would be nice, but Adam will say, behave. <laughs> behave with all the crystals right now. Now, with this one, what we're going to do is we're going to do something really crazy and just like, you know, in a crazy mood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to use the yellow as well. So this one's called yellow. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I do love the brand though. They I do, do like, like it. Like, I just think for Jal, they do great stuff. I just like. think, come on. But yeah, we Give want a, better names. Be their efforts. Yeah. So we're just gonna get a dollop. That one's probably a little bit too big. And then where's my pink? This pink's totally different pink than um, than our colour Sandra. See. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get them all together. This is this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, that, do you know what that looks like? What? Willy Wonka. 
in the chocolate factory, you know, the everlasting gobstopper. That's what it looked like before you mushed it together there. Oh, yeah. Right, so we're going to roll them together. We're not going to work them too much, but we kind of want them to, to mix a little bit. So this is like, you remember when you had Play-Doh and um, plasticine like as a child? This is like when you hated when your cousins come round and they played with you with your Play-Doh and your plasticine and they mixed it all together. I get annoyed when Isaac does that now. Yeah. It's not even mine. <laughs> and I'm like, stop it! <laughs> Keep the colours separate, <laughs> demon child. Look at it, it looks dead. I mean, already I'm impressed. I'm just gonna do a section of it coming across the nail. Just wanna spin that a little bit. So I just put my finger on and spun it in the direction I wanted it. Okay. And I'm gonna straighten up the edges. Just my spatula a little bit. And then I can get my gel brush and Move it around, clean up the edges. And I'm gonna pack, press and pull it. And just move it to where I want it. And once you're happy with your shape, I'm gonna use, so this is our Abu Dhabi. So it normally has the sponges on the end of the Abu Dhabi, but I'm gonna use it as a tool. I'm gonna to pop it into the cleanup solution. And I'm gonna cut random curves into the plast, plat, pat, oh my God. <laughs> plast, plastic, I can't even say it, plasticine. Once you're happy with your pattern, we're going to give it a cure. So now do you have to be careful not to get your top cord in between those yeah. caps? That's why you need a little brush and not to make sure you don't overload your brush. So I was lying, all my chromes are not from the centre. <laughs> um, we've got the um, chrome from, it's pigment pot from Nail Gaga. Now I think this will still, you should be able to see Oh, we, we, we're going to experimenting again. Um, I think you should be able to see just a little bit. I feel like I want to rub it on now without even anything on it, just so we can... See what happens. Test it. Oh my God, it does stick a bit. It does stick a little bit. Just, just not to everywhere. Let me just dust it. Oh, it's just give it a little bit of a something, something. Mm -hmm. So this is without any top coat on. Let's put the top coat on and see the difference. So we're having a smaller brush and holding it quite flat. So you'll see the angle of this brush is really quite low. We're not going to let the top coat sit into the recesses. So it's not going to sit into those little dents that we've created. Right, let's cure that. But this definitely needs gems. Just saying. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I like the feel. I mean, I love the feel of this one. Oh, do you know if you if you like to fidget with things and play with things, that's like a bit of a sensory kind of. Oh, yeah. This one, because it's so separated. We'll put some stones on and then there's just one more I want to Adam. What are you asking me? <laughs> just one more. Just one more. Right, so let's whack some stones on. I do like these clear backed um, stones. They, I think people get confused and think, well, they won't be as sparkly, but they actually really are. And you know, if you haven't got a gem, but you want, you haven't got any gems that match the colour that you want to work with, then this is perfect using these because they take on the colour that's underneath. Now, I'm sorry, but that is gorgeous. I love it. It's different. But it just shows you there's lots of different ways you can 
you can use it you know you could do snake skin with it and everything it'd be pretty cool though. so i want to do one more nail so i'm quickly going to go through what we went through before with the with the base coat and everything and we're going to use void which is our black which is like pretty damn black Second coat of color matte top coat. Right, so what we're going to do now is going to use the yellow, roll it like a sausage. Oh, for God's sake. I think I actually prefer a normal hand model. I know what you're making, you're making a coat hanger. No, I just want to do that. Hold on. You don't have to do that with your fingers, you can do that with a tool. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna stretch it out a little there. Lamp, 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 lamp. Top coat. Now I want to try and cover all of the that gel. Then we're going to use the gold chrome, which is from Lucente. Um, I thought you were making a bumblebee, but you're not. You're doing black and gold. Black and gold, black and gold. Yes. You thought I was doing a bumblebee? I want it to look like a ring. So let's get the chrome. Rub it on. And let's top coat this again. Sure. I just want to clean up any gold that might be on the black. And then we're going to put a crystal here. Right, so pop this here. Oh, there's a fuzzy. No. Yeah. I'm going to put some little um, microbeads around the edge of... The necklace. The neck. No well ring. I think if I had if I have this product in black, I think the gold would look a little bit more gold. And I think you know the viewers may agree with me. I think it's it looks very yellow gold. Well, is that because you used the yellow underneath? I thought. Yeah, well maybe, but I think but I didn't really have much choice. Yeah. Because I've not got black. Because chrome over black does look amazing. It really does. So now it looks more like a ring. You know, like an engagement ring. You know, an engagement ring. Yeah, I just I just wanted to it is like a little ring, isn't it? Ring on the finger, just the wrong finger, because it is the little finger yeah. or the pinky. But I just wanted to show you. Basically I just wanted to play with this product and make a video out of it and I hope you've enjoyed watching me create um lots of random things from the Plasticine gel. Some people call it pastelline, 3D, 4D gel, you know, it's that stuff. So yeah, that's my little creations for today. I do have a favourite. Which one do you think is my favourite, Adam? I think it's the snake. 
It's not a snake. <laughs> the squiggly line. Yeah, that's my favourite. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like Peter Lewis. It's like so satisfying. I like it. I think I need one on my nail just so I can like fidget. Yeah, just fidget with it. But yeah, look at all the different things you can do. Absolutely loads of stuff. So there you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video of me playing with <laughs> plasticine basically. Um, I do love this effect though as well, I like the, you know, the marbly. And next week you'll be able to see Kirsty play with Play-Doh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so everything I've used will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. If you've made it to the end of this video, wow, thank you. I love you. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra, duck!